Hey guys, this video is going to be all about zombies in Minecraft, all right? So I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna be doing all kinds of experiments with zombies in Minecraft, all right? So it is going to be, I think, about an 18 minute video, about a 20 minute video on me doing all kinds of different stuff with zombies. So make sure you watch this till the end, all right? Now, these zombies are actually, zombies are common undead hostile mobs all right so yeah that's what it says um that's all about the description of a zombie all right now we're going to be talking about spawning a zombie all right now naturally in the overworld um zombies can spawn in groups of four on any solid block at a light level of seven or less in deserts all zombies are exposed to the so sky and have an 80 percent chance to be replaced by husks zombies are that are not husks or drowned have a five percent chance to spawn as a zombie villager well all zombie virants also have a five percent chance to spawn as babies despite being shorter than one block tall baby zombies require a two block space um to spawn Baby zombies have it have an additional five percent chance of spawning as a chicken jockey. Um, a zombie can also spawn from a husk that drowns in water, but converts to a drowned if it if its head remains submerged. All right, so right over here, it just talks about spawning a zombie, and you know what type of things overall in Minecraft um you will find about spawning. A zombie all right now this video actually um i do as like i said in the beginning i'm gonna do all kinds of different experiments and you know gonna um put zombies in water and you know see what will happen if um if you put them in water and you know there's actually much more to it rather than um uh rather than you know me just messing around and doing whatever so yeah make sure you watch this video till the end to see um, what are the different things that, um, that I will do with zombies, all right? And, you know, I'm going to put them in the nether and see, you know, uh, what will happen to them in the nether. And in my treehouse, actually, you know, in my treehouse, I'm, I'm, I am going to put them in my treehouse. And, you know, you can take a look at that and, you know, what will happen if I put them in my treehouse. Tree house. Anyways. So now we're going to be talking about size, all right? So now if a player is in the village with at least 10 beds and 20 villagers at midnight, up to 20 zombies may be spawned near the edge of the village. In accordance with mob spawning rules, if a player is in a village with at least 20 beds and 40 villagers at midnight, up to 40 zombies may be spawned near the edge of the village. If a player is in a village with at least 30 beds and 60 villagers at midnight, up to 60 zombies may be spawned near the end of the village, and so on. It can happen in any biome except the mushroom fields biome and its virants. Zombies spawned as a part of a sag are always normal zombies. Zombie villagers, husks, and drowned never spawn as a part of a side. Okay, so right over there, it just talks about, you know, how do zombies um, uh, act and, you know, what's the behavior of zombies in general? You know, like, what do zombies do in general? All right, now we're going to be talking about spawners. Now, zombies spawn from spawners inside 50% of dungeons. All right, so zombie spawners are actually found in um, caves, if you didn't know that already. All right. Um, so they're found in, um, caves, all right, caves and just, yeah, general, they're really rare to see, all right, so zombie, like, actual spawners, um, but yeah, they're, um, uh, zombies, they spawn from dungeons, okay, now we're going to be talking about virants and baby zombies, all right, so now for the mob in Minecraft, okay, so 
it just, it just says for the mob in Minecraft Dungeons, CMCD baby zombie. Okay, that's it's a different link. All right, so baby zombies make up 5% of zombie spawns. They behave... So spawning baby zombies, so I'm in creative right over here. And here's the part where I talked about um, uh, me doing certain stuff in water. But yeah, baby zombies, they make up 5% of zombies. So yeah, it's super hard to... Um, uh, see and do stuff with baby zombies since they're so rare you know like you have to keep on spawning and spawning and spawning and then a baby then one baby zombie will spawn all right and check this out check this out guys and once one certain one thing will happen if um something cool with will happen if the zombies stay in the water for a long period of time i don't want to tell you and spoil it all right and obviously when they get out of the water water and they're out they will catch on fire and you know take damage and die but anyways we were talking about baby zombies now they behave similarly to regular zombies with the following differences all right so baby zombies they behave similarly but they have a little bit of differences all right now i didn't know that there that, that there were um uh these many differences this many differences with baby zombies okay okay baby zombies so here are some of the differences baby zombies they are much faster than normal zombies yet they have the same health all right so they're faster i guess but they have the same health the noises that they make are higher higher pitched than adult zombie sound effects if a baby zombie is riding a mom that is ridic that is rideable by a player that mob becomes unrideable by any player okay guys this is actually really cool i mean this is one of the most um, interesting facts actually about zombie about baby zombies so what it says right there if a player is riding a mob that is uh also rideable by a player so therefore actually um that would be like a horse or yeah so anyways if a zombie if a baby zombie is riding a mob that you can also ride as a player that mob you cannot ride by the player all right wait that that will be extremely rare but yes that's possible Anyways, okay, now we're going to be talking about um, how, well, not how, but, you know, some more differences, all right? Now, baby zombie villagers turn into baby villagers if cured, and, okay, there's nothing to explain right there. Worn armor shrinks to their fit, to fit their bod body size, there's nothing to explain right there. They are unable to fit through one times one block gaps. They give 12%, 12 experience points when killed by the player or tamed wolf instead of five unlike most of their other baby mobs they spawn babies they remain babies sorry then they don't spawn babies that sounds so wrong holy okay okay what did it say okay so unlike most other baby mobs they remain babies indefinitely and never become adult zombies okay this is actually really interesting i personally never knew this because we just don't pay attention especially i um i just don't pay attention to this type of stuff so baby zombies they remain babies um and never become adult zombies there's okay there's a reason why the designers or uh the programmers of the game um uh make more uh make more grown-up zombies than baby zombies all right so yeah that's actually really interesting i didn't know that comment down below if you didn't know that or either so a baby zombie has a five percent chance to become a jockey when it tries attacking a baby zombie zombie riding a chicken is also known as a chicken jockey there is is a chance that it could be wearing armor have a sword or have both armor and sword while riding a chicken jockey. It can have a baby zombie villager. Okay. Um Okay, so in Bedrock Edition, baby zombies, um, they can ride this stuff, alright? They can ride all they can ride literally all the stuff that I'm about to say, okay? So now the first one, again, it's all the stuff that baby zombies can ride in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Alright, so here, the first one is cows ocelots and untamed cats untamed wolves mushrooms adult chickens um pigs pandas sheep horses donkeys mules 
zombie horses, skeleton horses, adult zombies, adult zombie villagers, adult husks, adult zombies. Adult zombified piglins, spiders, cave spiders. All right, so there's that's all of the stuff that um, baby zombies can do. All right, so here in this actually part, um, I'm doing a bunch of experiments in my treehouse. All right, so hopefully you enjoy this, and I'm gonna see like how they catch on fire and where they don't catch on fire. So obviously, you know, so right there, I'm just showing you, they won't catch on fire. Um, in the treehouse, so, like, in the treehouse, since it's on the side, since, you know, they're not really exposed to the sun right there, but anyways, now we're going to be talking about zombie villagers, mainly much of the information that you need to know about zombie villagers, now, zombie villagers, they do have a 5% chance of spawning in place of zombies, and they may also spawn from villager if killed by a zombie, the chances that a villager will turn into a zombie villager when killed by a zombie or zombie virant depends on the difficulty level, okay, that's interesting, um, so, what it said right there is that the chances, so, you know, there's a 5% chance, 10% chance, 50% chance. So, okay, so the chances that a villager will turn into a zombie villager um, when killed by a zombie or zombie, it just depends on the difficulty level. So, in Java Edition Zombies, they um, spawned from a spawner or never... Um, zombie villagers, although zombie spawners are unable to produce them in bedrock edition, they can be cured back into villagers using a weakness potion and golden apple. Okay, there's a ton of information right over here. Okay, not a ton. There's a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to be talking about husks, all right? So husks often spawn in desert biomes in place of zombies. They attack um, just like regular zombies, but inflict hunger for several seconds and do not burn in sunlight. Oh, okay, okay. so husks, um, they're actually like just like brown zombies. They attack just like regular zombies, but they um, inflict hunger damage. So your hunger bar, if they attack you, your, regular, your um, uh, hunger bar, it goes down for a couple of seconds and they do not husk zombies they do not burn in sunlight and husk zombies they are um uh uh a little bit rare all right they are more rare than regular zombies okay now we're going to be talking about drowned or water in general what happens when zombies come into interaction with water okay so, right over here, drowned spawn, okay, so drowned spawn in rivers, most parts of oceans, or when in a normal zombie drowns, they are unable to swim and breathe underwater, as well as walk on land. Most drowned uh, zombies, they use melee attacks, but some spawn, and obviously, you know, they are um, zombies, they are um, uh, slower in water, and, you know, they're able to swim and breathe underwater. And, you know, most drown use... Okay, but some spawn with tridents and throw... Okay, in Java edition, zombies that are wearing armor and go underwater continue wearing the armor when converted to a drowned. Although tools and weapons are lost in bedrock edition... Okay, so we were just talking about Java Edition. In Bedrock Edition, zombies that convert to drowned drop all worn or held equipment with a fully durable prison. Okay, there's nothing much important that you need to know right there unless, you know, you um, uh, use or play Bedrock Edition, which most of you probably don't. Okay, geared zombies, all right? So now we're going to be talking about geared zombies and uh, zombies that... Um, uh, are wearing armor and do a bunch of stuff with it. Okay, so some zombies spawn wearing armor or holding tools. That's rare, although. Um, but which they may be enchanted. In addition, zombies may also spawn with the ability to pick up loot that is on the ground. The chances of each of those events occurring are listed in the table. Zombie villagers can also spawn naturally with a armor, weapons, or tools. If a zombie spawns, Bonds wearing multiple pieces of armor. The armor is never mis mismatched. 
Um, all pieces are made with the same material. Zombies cannot naturally spawn with nether armor. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes a whole lot of sense why they cannot spawn with netherite armor. Okay, now we're going to be talking about uh, chances of zombies wearing or picking up a armor per difficulty. Okay, so they can pick up loot. That's 0%. Normal, that's 55%, and then hard, that's 55%, and then armor, I'm just going to say the number so, you know, I don't waste too, too much time, but armor, that's 0%, and in normal, that's 15%, 15, you know, T-E-E-N, 15, and hard, that is 1 to 15%, and armor enchantment, that's 0% easy, and uh, in normal difficulty, that's 50%, and then hard, that's 50%. And then weapon, that's one in easy. And then one in normal. And uh, in hard difficulty, um, that's 5%. And then weapon enchantment, that's zero easy and zero normal. And in, in hard, that's 25%. So that's chances of zombies wearing or picking up armor per difficulty, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And guys, if you did, you should definitely like this video. Um, It lets me know... Uh. Uh, what type of content people are enjoying and what type of content that they're not if you don't like this video uh, You can dislike it um, uh, I don't care about that type of stuff and please After you subscribe if you did enjoy this video You should definitely subscribe and after you subscribe so you don't miss out on a new video You should definitely turn your gray notifications bell to all all right again. That's the first option. I think is um all and then the second one is personalized and i think the third one is none all right all right and you want to turn your gray notifications bell to all so you never ever miss out on a new upload from my channel ever again in the future all right okay here let's kill this last zombie and then i'll end this video so here's bow and arrows there we go the last zombie died um thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Alright, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.